Hello everyone and welcome back to Beaky's Nature Diary. Today is May the 16th, so we're on number 13. That means we're a quarter of the way through our year. Mrs Waters isn't here today, so I'm going to do this all by myself. You can see that I'm in the greenhouse and that's because it's just starting to rain again. We've had two days of rain and it's made everything in the garden suddenly start to sprout really quickly. Can you hear those birds making a noise? That's because the cats are on the prowl and they're protecting their chicks. They're noisy, aren't they? Anyway, let's have a look in here. Can you see down there? We've got some tomatoes in much bigger pots. Let me move the camera. Look, Mrs Waters has moved some of the little tomatoes into bigger pots. That's because they're growing quickly now and they need more room for their roots. Ooh, the lettuces are really coming on, aren't they? They look nice and healthy in here. More tomato plants. Oh, and look in the bag. The cucumbers are growing. I wonder where the big sweet corn's gone. I can't see it anywhere. Oh, the radishes look good. What's that down there? Oh, I think that's called Mizuna and that's a kind of lettuce leaf. Right, let's go out into the kitchen garden. We mustn't forget to leave the door of the greenhouse open so that the insects can get in. Goodness, look at the potatoes. They really shot up after the rain, haven't they? Oh dear, there are lots of weeds as well. Mrs Waters is going to be busy. She has to get rid of the weeds so that the, the plant gets all the water. Oh, there's Tabs. Hello, Tabs. Tabs. I bet she's looking for things to nibble. Hope she's not after me. She's gone. Good. Let's get on. Look. There are lots of flowers on the strawberries. Great! And the net is just big enough for the insects to get through so that they can pollinate the flowers. Then we'll get the strawberries. Oh dear! I'm sure we have lots more turnips than that. I'll have to have a word with Mrs Waters. Maybe they're being eaten by rabbits or, or hedgehogs or something. Oh no! Look at these beans! Silly Mrs Waters put them out too soon and the wind has damaged them all. I hope they're okay. Let's have a look at some around the corner. Ah! These beans look better. That's because they're sheltered a bit better. It's not so windy here. Mrs Waters has planted the courgettes and the marrows. They don't seem to be so badly affected by the wind, but I think something's been nibbling that one at the bottom. Ah, that's where the cornies look. It's been protected by the polythene and it's in the soil now. I hope Mrs Waters knows which are carrots and which aren't because the weeds have gone mad in there. Well, do you think the weather looks different? That's because I had to give up yesterday. It was so wet I couldn't do any filming. So now it's Wednesday the 17th and the weather's fantastic today. So let's carry on looking round the farm. Oh dear, I seem to have got myself all stuck up in this funny weed. This one's called, well, 
I know it's a sticky weed, but I don't know what its proper name is. You can have great fun sticking this to the back of people. Let's have a look at some of the other weeds that have sprouted. Can you see all the weeds under the hedge? There's nettles and dandelions and sticky weed. They grow up where you don't dig. And they're great for the insects and the creatures. And look at all these buttercups. They're everywhere. Have you ever put one under your chin to see if you like butter? That's what we do. This one's a self-seeded bramble bush. I love blackberries, don't you? And that's just growing in the hedge. I bet Mrs. Waters leaves it because Mr. Waters loves blackberry jam. The dandelions are almost finished now. They're all turning into dandelion clocks and getting blown away in the wind. That means there'll be more growing soon. These are wildflowers as well. They're called bluebells. They're very pretty and I know Mrs. Waters will love them because they're blue. Mrs. Waters isn't sure if this is a weed or a real flower, but she likes them because they go really tall and have lovely pink flowers on top, so she doesn't pull them up. Here's another weed Mrs. Waters doesn't pull up because she loves the flowers. It's a poppy. Well, it will be when it gets a flower on top. Oh, look. The tulips are nearly gone now. Even the yellow ones are starting to drop off. That's because of all the rain and wind we've had. Oh, look. The first sweet pea has flowered. And it's pink. I wonder if all the others will be pink. That's a new one. Don't know what that is. I wonder what it'll turn into. Oh, look, there's some of the pansies. At least the slugs haven't got them all. Here's a plant we haven't seen before. This one's a geranium. Flo, be quiet, I haven't got time to play. And this one has just started to grow really fast and it's a lavender. I think that's going to be purple when it comes out. Look at the standard rose. It's got buds all over it. Mrs. Waters will be pleased. Look what's hiding in the climbing rose. There's a rose and it's opened. Gosh, that's an early one. Maybe it's because it's sheltered. And look at the buds on the clematis. They're still not open, but they're getting bigger and bigger. Look, most of the blossom off the apple trees is gone now. I wonder if the apples are starting to grow yet. I hope the wind didn't blow it off too early. Anyway, I've got to go now. I've got to go back into my chicks. I shall see you next week with Mrs. Waters. She'll have to tell us what those funny flowers were. Oh, hello, Poppy. Poppy's come to see us. <laughs> She's looking at the camera. Hello. Time to go now, though, Poppy. Is it nearly tea time? We'll see you all soon. Bye.